What struck me in your book is that you mentioned quite a few times mm. that you don't have to focus on the fruit of the action, yeah. but that you have to do your duty, do yeah. what you were made for, yeah. do the Dharma, mm. if, if that is correct, mm. and not, not be concerned whether you're going to be successful or not. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, ultimately what happens is that uh, when, you, when you want to achieve something, uh, then sometimes you, you, you do things that we should not do because you are so concerned with achieving something and then your whole time focused and something happens to you then you are, you are, you are sad etc etc. Whereas uh, you do your best you know and then leave the rest to God. Uh, that way sort of you are not, you're not unnecessarily tensed. You know? that, that is my philosophy you know. Uh, after all we also have our limits. No, I'm not all powerful, so I cannot always do all that I want. But I do, at the same time, I try to do what, what, what I can, what I should, you know, therefore I should do, I should follow my dharma. Uh, but the dharma, what, what is that? When you say, uh, I should follow is, my dharma. Dharma is basically, let us say, what I would consider my duty in a particular situation, what I'm supposed to do in a particular situation. Uh, because we believe that uh, ultimately, um, uh, if, if you are believers in God, you know, because the, as I say, God is not outside of us, but God is in us, etc. So now, we, let us say, we are now uh, 10 people trying to build up a community. I mean, just giving an example. And each one of us is, uh, is doing a bit, our bit, etc. But we are all free people. So there is tensions and we don't always achieve, you know, all kind of thing. But we do believe that uh, there is a force, the spirit of God, a God who sustains us, you know, who is helping us and pushing us forward from behind. He would not push us uh, to a direction where we don't want to go. But if we want to go someplace, then he will give us all the force necessary to go there, kind of thing, you know. So therefore, God is there behind uh, encouraging us and bringing us together and uh, therefore adding to our own efforts uh, and carrying things to completion. So, so in, in that sense, uh, I think uh, uh, the, 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 this, the, this, this vision of something that is moving, uh, moving towards uh, and, and God who is supporting, carrying things along, something that is inspiring, I think. Is this an, an Indian thought? It, does it come from the Bhagavad Gita somewhere? That not focusing on the fruit of the action, but just to do your yeah. duty? Yeah, this particular phrase is uh, from the Bhagavad Gita. No? The, the whole idea of, uh, they will speak about the Nish Kama Karma. Karma is action, Kama is desire. So Nish Kama means you don't desire no? the fruit of the action. It's action without desire. Yeah, action without desire. And uh, so it is in the Bhagavad Gita, you know, that eventually you do your duty and you don't bother about the fruit, you don't be attached to the fruit also. Uh, so in that sense, that it's a sense of you, you do your thing at the same time, uh, you, are, you are detached from it in a sense, you know, uh, because ultimately it leaves space for the other, basically. Mm. And, uh, but I think you, you can find this also in, uh, in, uh, in Christianity. Where? Uh, in Christianity, I think the whole idea of the symbol of the cross is uh, not merely, let us say, not... Um, uh, I would even say that uh, there's a different dimension so to it, uh, I mean, uh, added to that, that you not merely look for, do not look for the fruit of what you are doing. Uh, sometimes you are, you, are, you are even ready for the suffering that it might bring. Mm. So in the suffer. symbol of the cross you see, yes. you see the same thing. Yeah, so you already, you, you, sometimes you even know that uh, you are working for something good uh, and uh, for happiness of everybody, etc. And you want to bring everybody together. Uh, but sometimes you may have to pay for it, you know, mm -hmm. precisely because people are selfish, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et mm -hmm. But then you don't mind even this suffering because you know that through the suffering you would still reach out to the, mm -hmm. the, the, the basic goal or God would. Because when Christ died, he did not know that uh, the cross is going to lead to this, you know. It is a father who raises him. Mm 